Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Rhino Rack Vortex Aero Crossbar System here on our 2019 Ford Explorer. So this is what our crossbar system is going to look like installed. Now for starters, we have the black crossbars on our vehicle here because our vehicle is black, matches it a little bit better. It's also offered in a silver option as well. It really just comes down to preference, whichever you feel will look better on your vehicle. So with the Rhino Rack Vortex Aero Crossbars, they're gonna have an aero shape. And what this aero shape does is it does a couple different things. Number one, it cuts down on wind noise. A lot of crossbar systems that use those square blocky crossbars can really get kind of noisy up here on your vehicle. You're really not gonna have too much of an issue with that due to this aero design. Obviously, it's gonna be more aerodynamic, so we're also not gonna take as big a hit with our miles per gallon. So adding a roof rack to your Explorer, it's a great versatile option. It's gonna allow us to do many different things. We can pretty much carry anything we want up here. We could definitely put some kayaks up here, a cargo box, or even a bike rack. We're gonna have endless possibilities here with our roof rack. So I'm sure you've noticed that we have these giant channels running down the center of our crossbars, and these are gonna be great for our roof mounted channel accessories. So basically what this does is it makes it a little bit easier to secure your accessories to the crossbars. You don't have to worry about the wraparound clamps tightening each side. Sometimes there can be up to four per side. The channel is going to be nice integrated seamless into the crossbar. It's usually only one to two fasteners per side. We're also not going to have a ton of space between the bottom of the crossbar and the top of our roof. There's actually only a couple inches here. Therefore, it may require the channel mounted accessories for certain application. A lot of the times we have these U-bolts or even these locking knobs here that we have to manipulate. Could still be possible, but it's gonna be a little bit harder when we don't have as much space. So these integrated channels here are gonna be an awesome feature here to this crossbar system. So in regards to weight capacity, we're gonna be 165 pounds evenly distributed across both crossbars. So in regards to installation, we're gonna get pretty lucky here on our Explorer because it actually uses factory fixed points here on the inside of these rails. Therefore, installation is super easy. We don't have to worry about attaching any door clips that go inside and damage our weather seal possibly. Everything's gonna be right up here on the roof. It's super easy to install. And again, we get this seamless look with the factory fixed points. So before we start our installation, what we like to do is we just like to get everything out of the box here, lay it out in front of you, and then explain what everything is. So first, we have our crossbar here. It's pretty self-explanatory what that does. Next thing we have here is gonna be our mounting feet. Now we have two shown. So this is our mounting foot. We have this square nut here, which actually goes into the channel on our crossbar. And then we'll have an Allen head underneath to tighten it. So we're gonna have two of these per bar. We're also gonna have our locking end caps here. They get installed over there like so. And then we can lock and remove them with the included key. And then next we have the fit kit. So to a roof rack, you're gonna have three components, the crossbars, the mounting feet, and the fit kit. What the fit kit does is pretty much attach everything. For this particular vehicle here, we're gonna have fixed mounting points that this installs into using these two holes here. And then our mounting feet are gonna to connect to the top of the fit kit using this hole here. So this mounts on the vehicle, our mounting feet attached to the fit kit, and then our crossbars attached to the mounting feet. You're also gonna notice a few other things in your kit here. So we have these little protective caps. So these are gonna get installed on top of the fit kit when we don't have our system installed. So meaning when we have the crossbars and mounting feet removed, we can still leave the fit kit on the vehicle here and protect it from any issues using these protective caps. We're also gonna get all the tools we need for our installation. We're gonna have the security Torx bit. We're also gonna have the security Allen bit. You'll need both of these to complete this installation. And then the last two things we have here, we have these protective strips. So if we turn our crossbars over, we're gonna see the half channels here on either side on the bottom of our crossbar. These are actually gonna install inside these channels here to provide an extra level of protection. So once we get our mounting feet in the correct position, tightening everything down, we'll measure the distance we have between here and here I'll cut the strip accordingly and install it in there. And then finally, we have the end caps to our crossbar. So these are actually locking. They come with the key here. 
but basically they just install in the outside ends of our crossbar here stop anything from being able to slide off our crossbar for using the channel mount accessory and again just keeping our crossbars nice and free from any corrosion or dirt so we're going to take our crossbar now to start our installation the side that goes up is going to have our rhino rack sticker on there we're just going to flip it over to the bottom side and again the bottom side is going to be the one with our half channels here probably more only a quarter of the crossbar actually but then we're going to take one of our mounting feet here along with our hex security tool and what i'm going to do is i'm going to line up that channel nut here inside the channel of our crossbar keep in mind we want the connection point to be facing outward so not like this like this we'll just slide that on so right now we don't know where we need to secure this it could come in more it could come out more so we don't want to fully tighten this down but we also don't want the mounting feet sliding around on this when we're trying to get it on the vehicle. So I'm just gonna snug up our fastener here. So we want it to be snug, but we still wanna be able to move it. So about like this should be fine. And now we'll go on the other side and install our other foot. And then once we have both of our mounting feet installed, we'll come back with our end caps here, insert those into the end of the crossbar, take our key and turn it to lock it in place. So now we're going to assemble our fit kit. Here's what our fit kit looks like fully assembled. It's going to be composed of two parts. We have the rubber foot here and then we have the actual metal portion. So the way this installs, it's simply going to slide in that channel. And then you're going to have these little plastic or rubber tabs on the bottom that will push up through that metal opening there. Now we already installed the front crossbar, but we're gonna show you guys how to do the rear one. So you're gonna notice if we look inside the silver rail here, we're gonna have two sets of points, two sets here and two sets here. We can actually install our crossbar into either one. It's really gonna be preference depending on what sort of things you're carrying. If you have larger boats like kayaks, you may wanna use the ones that are spread further apart. It just really depends on what we're gonna be carrying. But for demonstration purposes, we're just going to go ahead and install it in this closest one. So we're going to take the security Torx bit that comes in our key here, and we're going to be removing these two caps here. So it's just a little plastic Torx nut or Torx screw here. So we want to be careful we don't damage it when removing it, but they're pretty easy to get out. We'll start it with our tool and we should be able to remove the rest of it by hand. And here's what that looks like. So we'll go ahead and get this other one out and then we'll repeat that same process on the other side. So now we're going to get our hardware ready. We're going to take one of our security Torx bolts, put on a split lock washer and follow that up with a flat washer. We'll need two of these for this one side. So once we get these ready, we'll take our fit kit here, line up our holes and then thread in our hardware. Now we're just taking our security key here, just tighten down our two Torx bolts. So now all we did is we simply went ahead and took our crossbar assembly and set it onto the fit kit here. We did have to adjust the feet a little bit, but we knew we were going to have to do that beforehand. Basically, what we're going to do now is we're going to measure the distance from the edge of the crossbar to the beginning of that foot there. And we just want to make sure that's even on both sides. And then we can go ahead and take the bolt in our kit here. We're gonna get four of these smaller bolts here. We're gonna place a split lock washer on, follow that up with a flat washer. Then we, we can actually secure the mounting foot to our fit kit here. So now we'll just take our 10 millimeter wrench here. Let's go ahead and finish tightening that down. So now a couple more things we have. We're gonna take our locking end cap here or the cover rather for our mounting foot. Snap that into place, then we can lock it. And then finally, we're gonna take our Allen head security key here. We're gonna come underneath our mounting foot here. We have a little bit of an opening and we'll basically just tighten up that center bolt there to further secure our crossbar to the mounting feet. And that'll do it today for a look at installation of the Rhino Rack Vortex Aero Crossbar System here on our 2019 Ford Explorer.